everybody. I thought I would share with you my latest obsession, and it is this cute little pin cushion. It's magnetic, and I made it myself. So now I thought I would show you guys how you could make one too. It has really this really cool magnet inside. This is actually made for um, name tags. So it has a metal bar across it and really super strong magnets. So when I want to go use my pin cushion, normally I'm going, 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 and then I pull my pins as I go, and then they end up in a puddle right here or on my dachshund and he gets mad. So now instead of having that, I can, as I pull my pins, just drop them on my wrist, or if I end up with a puddle, I can just do that and away they are. Really cool, very fun, very comfortable. I actually went to bed with one of these on my wrist last week. Sorry, John. So anyway, um, here we go. I gotta just show you how you can make one less than five minutes, make them in all kinds of colors. It's just some lovely knit fabric with a lot of stretch and normally we carry this as a, a product it's i cut them into 12 inch strips by two inches wide but really that's too long so what we're going to do is we're going to measure our wrist i'm just going to take a regular measuring tape and i'm going to wrap it around and my wrist is six inches I'm not even going to include a seam allowance though because the fabric itself is so stretchy that I can get it off and on without um, any problems. So this one I've already cut to six inches and I'm going to come to my machine. I have it actually on a stretch heavy. I could do a stretch medium for this part and then when I join it go to stretch heavy but we're just going to start this way and I'm going to go to a stretch stitch. So you guys at home, it looks like a little lightning bolt. So what that's going to do is when I go to put this on, it's going to allow that seam to stretch. If you've ever hemmed somebody's t-shirt and as soon as they go to put it on the first time, it pops the seam. This is what you should have had instead, a stretch stitch. So I'm going to fold it, my piece, right sides together in half. And we're gonna sew it with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna put enough bulk, um, enough fabric there that my machine is going to feed nice. It's not gonna get trapped. So, whoop. and here we go. Wow, you'd think I'd use some pins. I'm gonna get to the end, and I'm gonna press stop. And cut. So what I forgot to get ready before we started today was my scissors. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> We have our lovely 3 8 inch seam allowance with our funky little stretch stitch. And I'm going to trim. First, I'm going to trim away my thread ends. And then I'm going to trim my seam allowance. I'm going to trim it down to about a 16th of an inch. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it easy to turn. It's a, a knit fabric, so it's not really going to fray. I don't have to worry about that. But that makes more room for when it's time to put my magnet inside. So I have my cute little loop, to loop turner here. It's not an expensive piece, easy to use. I'm gonna, it has a little hook on the end and a little arm, a little lever that helps me to turn my fabric. So I'm gonna keep it open. I'm going to put that into my little casing and then I'm gonna back it up. 
So when I pull this back, that little arm inside is gonna grab my fabric for me and help me to turn this piece. <laughs> you know, why is it always hard when, you're when you guys are watching? Here we go. So now it makes it super easy, haha, -ha, to turn my little um, casing here. Works great for things like spaghetti straps, belt loops, things like that. Very useful tool. So now I have my magnet. I'm going to take the metal piece off and put it aside and I'm going to put my magnet down inside my casing. For here, I have my, um, my seam is on the side. If I wanted to take the time and it, the idea appealed to me, I could flatten this out and press it flat, but I kind of like the seam on the side. Um, it is much nicer. Uh, it's neat. It's straight. It's all good. So I'm going to stick this magnet down inside my casing. And I'm gonna put it right to the middle. We could, um, we could tack it down on either side, but I haven't had any problems. It, it hasn't bothered me at all. So uh, I'm just gonna put it in the middle and I'm gonna take the metal bar that came with it and I'm gonna put that on top. And the reason I'm gonna do that is not only if I were sewing this into something else, if I was using this to close a pocket or something like that, I would want to know exactly where the metal was so that I wouldn't run it over and break my needle. So that's kind of a little tip for using one of these on another type of project. And maybe we'll do a video on that, using these to close um, bag pockets and things. Very cool, not today, but I digress. So now what I'm gonna use it for is to keep it from sticking to my metal plate on my machine and making me crazy. So now I am going to tuck one side into the other. Uh, again, not gonna be worrying about uh, fraying edges or anything. So I'm really just tucking that in to keep so that I can close it so that it works. Mm. So here I go. Gonna just stick that in there, just like that. And it doesn't have to be a lot, just like a quarter of an inch, just, and then you can pull it back out so and make it do it again. <laughs> it's cause we're watching. And I know, it's always the way. So now I'm gonna put it back in there, just like that. Stretchy is wonderful in all things, especially pants. Anyway, that's a different subject. Here I go and I have my piece here. So now we're gonna stop for a second. And the reason we're gonna stop is we're gonna make sure, looking at it, that I have not twisted in the process my, um, my little tube here. I wanna make sure that it's not twisted on itself and it's gonna have a big bump in it or anything. I wanna make sure it's all flat and nice and not curved in on itself. That being said, I'm gonna take it over to my machine. And even though it's a raw edge, that's gonna be fine because what I'm gonna select here is going to be a stitch that kind of bridges the distance. Um, we're gonna put the raw edge and line it up in the center line on my foot. And this stitch is gonna go back and forth and sew it together with a nice strong stitch. And we're gonna go backwards, just cause we can. And one more time. So now here I am in about the middle. I'm gonna hit stop and I'm gonna finish the stitch and cut. So the benefits going back and forth, not only is it going to really 
tack down that seam allowance where it goes, but it also is reinforcing as I'm gonna put it off and on. So, <laughs> we, we will just clip our little edges here. And that's it, folks. Five minutes and it's done. I can pull this off and put on my little, my little uh, pin cushion and it's adorable. Uh, great gift for any sewing friends or for yourself because we need something pretty. That's it, keep stitching.